from the theme song you can tell this segment is self-explanatory i'm just here to spread the story strength of a woman is the name and uh, why in the morning is the name of the show if you'd like to interact with us white fair four channel is our handle on twitter white fair four underscore channel on instagram and white fair four on facebook or you can hit me up directly at it's very more your views your comments and your questions are invited so my guest for strength of a woman or my strength of a woman of the day goes by the name lynette wawera she was born and raised in embo county and she's running an organization that goes by the name against gbv that gbv means gender-based violence and she's here with us in preparation of awareness week i bet or 16 days of awareness of activism, yes. oh, oh of activism yes. uh, activism yes. Karibu sana, Thank uh, you. you are appreciated for what you're doing but you can introduce yourself on camera four uh if i missed anything all right, my name is Lynette Wawera. I run a GB, uh, an organization called Against GBV, mm -hmm. yeah, which creates awareness uh -huh. on gender-based violence mm -hmm. using visual art that is photography, uh -huh. stage plays, and short films. All right, so art is your approach in this fight. Yes. You chose your lane, and it's art. So uh, your background in, ed in education first. You went to the University of Nairobi. Yes. All right, so you studied psychology and sociology. Yes. Sociology and psychology. Yes, yes. All right, and then uh, right now you're not employed. Yes, I'm not employed. I'm self-employed. You're self-employed. Yeah. You're just running this organization uh, against G GBV, gender-based <laughs> violence. All yeah. right, so you can get to send your questions. If you are, uh, if you are affected uh, directly or indirectly by this, you can get to interact with us on the social media handles that I just mentioned, and they are below the screen, as you can see, or they will be projected below the screen. So, uh, Lynette, uh, what led you to forming this organization first where did the drive come from my drive came after sharing i met a friend that i knew when we were kids mm -hmm. and then when we were sharing stories she told me something that she went through when uh -huh. we were kids and from what she told me i was so surprised since it was uh -huh. a very not a very good incident mm -hmm. and being her neighbor back then and not knowing what they were going through mm -hmm. uh, motivated me to use made to use art that is photography mm -hmm. films stage plays to show people what happens like behind the scenes mm -hmm. in so homes, you are here as a doors. kid growing up with a friend of yours yes you're growing up in a stable home yes you don't know what's going on in the home yes. but you meet and play like everything yeah, is normally okay uh -huh. pathways in the evening they uh -huh. go home we go home uh -huh. and then they the get to the next episode of their lives yes which is very scary and traumatic yes uh, at what point did you get to know their story it's a short while back when okay we, oh, we later are, um, on when you are yes, grown up much later uh -huh. yeah all right so uh how does this affect uh somebody as a student or as a graduate of sociology and psychology mm -hmm. uh maybe you have a little bit of insight how does mm -hmm. growing up in a broken home uh, affect somebody as a grown-up later on what are some of the things you can see or in somebody who grew up in a broken home when you grow up in a broken home chances of you being antisocial are very high mm -hmm. because you grow up feeling like uh, my family is different from others mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm also different from other people. I'm different from other kids. So you mm -hmm. tend to stay away. You tend not to play much mm -hmm. with others. So your interaction with other people will be limited and you mm -hmm. feel isolated as an adult. You'll have problems with interacting with others in mm -hmm. relationship issues. Mm -hmm. You'll find that you don't have you have, I mean, you'll find yourself with trust issues. Uh -huh. So hard for you to trust anyone, even uh -huh. your female friends, your male friends. Uh -huh. So it affects yeah. your relationships uh, in general. It affects yes. your social life yes. in general. Yes. Uh, does it affect uh, your attitude or your approach towards life in general? Yes, most uh -huh. people I've met, uh -huh. they have a negative perspective on uh -huh. life. All right. One person of me told me that they can't stay in a relationship for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. They, she, okay, one of them said that what she's going through right now is mm -hmm. that she, her boyfriend has a hard time mm -hmm. trying to convince her that everything will be okay. She, one, once in a while she trips and she feels like she's alone in the world despite mm -hmm. that her partner spouse being there for her. Being there always. Yes. But sometimes so she has episodes where she can go yes and right. other people will have suicidal thoughts as well thoughts. 
Yes, uh-huh. because I know someone who's who was abused by the dad as a kid mm-hmm. and it happened that the dad passed on before they could make amends. Yes. Uh-huh. So this kid okay, after the dad passed on the kid felt that okay, he's gone too soon Mm -hmm. we haven't gotten a chance to talk this out i hope that you would love me Mm -hmm. so this kid when in his dreams he sees that his dad loving him doing every other thing that a loving Mm -hmm. dad would do but in real life his dad never knew never did such a thing so Uh when he's asleep he's at a happier place Uh and than when he's awake so when he's uh, he's always saying that these are his own words yes he He says when he's asleep is at a better place than when he's awake. Yeah, so, so for him, he would rather die and be happy with his dad. Wow. Yeah. Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 <laughs> underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook. Your views, your comments, and your questions are invited. Direct them to me at It's Very More, or you can direct them to her. Uh, that is at um, Against GBV on social yeah. media. Yeah. Powerful. So uh, the the environment in which a kid grows up it's, is, is very important. Yes. This is the foundation of your life. Yes. School is just secondary. Yes. Powerful. We have talked about how it affects the kid. Yes. How does it affect uh, the mom? Or the pa- or nowadays, even the men are facing violence. <laughs> yeah. Shout yeah. out to some well, counties um, that we know about. Even the men are facing violence yes. in homes. So how does it affect this person the the re, the person on the receiving end of the violence in general even with their in relation to uh, how they relate with the kids sometimes it affects le- let's say it's the mom who is being abused mm-hmm. so she'll have she'll have she'll go through emotional torture uh-huh. and you'll see sometimes she'll tend to pass that to the kids mm-hmm. like when she's when they have had a fight with the dad mm-hmm. her mind is not in i mean she's not in a proper state of mind so the kid might approach her with some help Mm -hmm. and then she'll just be rude without her intention all right it won't be intentional yeah sometimes they act out of intentions yes all right so this led you to forming this organization yes and your organization is not like a it's not a call center when where when you are, you you face this sort of uh, violence you come so you can get help or yeah. does this happen at your organization as well no we hope to get there mm-hmm. because i've had some people reach out to me but what i do because that's not what i do i don't deal with the clients first hand i don't have a legal represent representative team with me mm-hmm. or medical team or mm-hmm. therapist with me so uh-huh. what i do is i refer the clients uh-huh. to respective organizations that i feel that will best suit their needs so i've done a lot of research on these organizations uh-huh. yeah and i know when someone comes to me i know this organization will help you uh-huh. according to your case the according best organization to, to go to is yes. this one so you have like a catalog yes. of organizations yes. that yes. can help you assist these people yes so your approach is basically at yes. creating awareness yes. through art all right so we have the photography wing of this yes. and uh, we have uh, the f- the the plays wing yes. of this do you yes. have films as well or it's yes we have films mm-hmm. currently i'm trying to push for one film mm-hmm. short film in my home county it's mm-hmm. in embo language. shout out to embo county always <laughs> represented on why in the morning keep watching uh-huh. yeah so i'm trying to push for it because in embo county we have so many issues that are going on related to gbv mm-hmm. we have FGM, which mm-hmm. is not we a good We still have thing. FGM. Yes, in it's there in many counties. Uh-huh. Sorry to say that it's in my county. Uh-huh. <laughs> we have wife battering, as uh-huh. in that domestic violence. We are uh-huh. both men and So you're women looking to capture abused. all these aspects in this story, in yes. this short film? Yes. All right, it's in the tunnels or you're already in the production stage? No, I've already written the script, uh-huh. taking it to a producer, so... Yes, you did mention in your <laughs> intro that you are a script writer as well, yes. and also a photographer. I'm not a photographer, photo- uh, uh-huh. I'm a script writer uh-huh. and a special effect makeup artist. Uh-huh. So the special effects, I use it in my plays, and uh-huh. my, uh, I'm hoping to use them in the short film. All right, running yes. these organizations uh, requires resources, yeah, yes. for you to operate. Yes. How do you manage to sustain this? Because I get it that you're helping people and all, but yes. you need to sustain this and you also need to live, you need to look good as good as you look today as well. Thank uh-huh. you. Uh-huh. So what I do is, 
right now at the stage i am at i haven't gotten to a place that i'll get to my pocket and reach out to people with it but what mm -hmm. i do is art mm -hmm. i have i i it's a bit okay getting photographers that's the, maybe that's the only expense that i get to incur mm -hmm. and right now that we are going to film production that mm -hmm. will be another expense mm -hmm. but when we get to the broader perspective or the broader goal my broader goal mm -hmm. that is to get to people to victims and represent their cases mm -hmm. maybe i'll then look for partners mm -hmm. and we can get to work together currently i'm trying to push for a photograph i mean it's a photography project that i'm having mm -hmm. for the 16 days of activism so we are going to have some sort of exhibition somewhere yeah, but I use social media. Oh, so the exhibition is going to be online. Yeah, we don't have to so. come to a physical <laughs> place. We can just view the pictures online. Yeah. So these pictures, yeah. uh, how do you? Uh, what is the process of taking them? Do you get uh, incidences where there's violence, gender-based violence, and capture the moments, or what? How does it go? No, they're inspired by an incident, so uh -huh. I won't use the victim because I have to get the consent of the victim to. Mm -hmm. And it's a rule, like, uh -huh. you have to get the consent of the victim to mm -hmm. represent their case. Uh -huh. So I get ideas, like, every day news, they, you won't miss a case on GBV. Uh -huh. Someone has been battered, mm -hmm. someone has been shot, someone has been strangled by mm -hmm. their spouse. Mm -hmm. So I get these stories, mix them, and then write down a script. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go out, get <laughs> photographers, and then... Mm -hmm. We'll shoot the photos in according to a story and then arrange them into a story. All right. Yeah. Powerful. Uh, so uh, when people hear GBV, gender-based yeah. violence, they always imagine uh, it's a man beating, uh, beating up a woman, his wife, mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. But in the recent past, we have lost a lot of transformers, mm -hmm. for lack of better words. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's how they call it. Yeah. All right. So uh, mm -hmm. are you working with men as well? Men who are... Uh, men who are who are facing yes, this yes. sort of thing. Yes. Uh -huh. Gender-based violence. Uh -huh. Okay. Some people may misinterpret it as the woman who is a victim alone. <coughs> in most, in some cases, uh -huh. men also are victims, and the society. The problem is the society like teaches us like when you're a man and you're a victim, uh -huh. we'll it's very hard to come out. Yeah. Uh -huh. But so I'm trying. I'm also using the same procedure to represent the cases of men mm -hmm. because I've had someone come to me, tell me what they went through. I've seen uh -huh. and had cases of wh where men have been violated or uh -huh. a bit abused. Right. And there's Chama Chawanaume. Uh -huh. Nowadays. Yeah, there, there's All such right. a thing. Yeah. So we should sign up for, uh, <laughs> to Chama Chawanaume and, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and support, support, support. <laughs> yes. All right. So, mm -hmm. uh, Yes, I like what you're doing, and I like the awareness approach mm. that you're using. We are mm. headed to the 16 days of activism. Did you say activism or yes. awareness? 16 yeah. days of activism. This is something. Uh, this is uh, something uh, courtesy of the UN. Yes. And it's coming. Please remind us the date. It's it runs from the 25th of November to mm -hmm. 10th of December, mm -hmm. where the. Uh, the tagline this year is Hear Me Too, mm -hmm. where victims are encouraged to come out and tell their stories mm -hmm. without fear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So uh, are you prepared for this? Yes, I'm prepared. Uh -huh. So this is yeah. where we are going to have the photo exhibition. Yes. How are we going to uh, be part of this exhibition? You Talk to the viewers on Camera 4. Uh, just okay. give us the social media handles or the website or how we can get to be part of this exhibition. Okay, uh, I will share the, after we've completed the work, I'm trying to get to partner with another organization that is a bit famous mm -hmm. in the country mm -hmm. to do the photography mm -hmm. stories with it. And when we're done, we'll share the photos and the stories on my social media account, on their social media account. Mm -hmm. My social media account is Against GBV on mm -hmm. Instagram, Against GBV on Facebook, and mm -hmm. Against GBV on Twitter as well. Right. And yeah, on you can check it on my website as well. This is the part where you it, you invite partners or collaborators. Yeah. Uh, so take your chance and just speak to them. Wang is a box. Your camera is still number four. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, if you love art, you're a poet. Okay, my my approach will be through art. Mm -hmm. So I would love to include art, artists mm -hmm. in terms of painters, painters, yeah. uh 
dancers, uh-huh. filmmakers, uh-huh. photographers, we can join hands and tell these stories uh-huh. through poems, uh-huh. through dance moves, uh-huh. through short clips, uh-huh. and through and just, photography. And just have and a just, good time. And have a good time, have, have fun with creating awareness. Do you have a hashtag ready for this movement? Do you have like a hashtag? There's the 16 days of activism already uh-huh. has created a hashtag for uh-huh. us. It's hashtag hear me too. Hear me too. So you're yeah. going to be part of this hashtag yes. as well. Thank yes. you very much, Lynnet, for coming through to Why in the Morning. Yes. We appreciate you. Would you like to send some shout outs to people who help you do what you do every day? Yeah, thank you to my friends, mm-hmm. Iconic Media Ventures. Mm-hmm. Much love for the support you give me. Photography sessions are always an awesome thing. Thank you for my family and everyone watching. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lynnet. Yeah. Yes, our strength of a woman of the day, Lynn Netwahwera, all the way, born and raised in Embu County, but living in Nairobi right now, and she's fighting against gender-based violence. And she has something special in preparation for the 16 days of activism. So if you'd like to be part of this, just head to Against GBV, uh, www.againstgbv.com, and you can be part of this. Kalami Val is coming up next with Girls Talk. You don't want to miss this.